in the vast and diverse world of politics. There exists a species of politician that has long captivated the public's curiosity. Tonight, we embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries of one such enigmatic creature, Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada. For years, whispers have circulated about Mr. Trudeau's true sexual orientation. As we delve into the depths of this political jungle, we seek to answer the questions that have haunted the public for so long. Is Justin Trudeau, in fact, gay? Our journey begins in the lush, verdant forests of Ottawa where our intrepid team of experts have been tracking Trudeau's every move. Despite the seemingly heterosexual facade, our experts remain convinced that there is more to Justin Trudeau than meets the eye. Meanwhile, our team of researchers has been meticulously camming through a treasure trove of documents, photographs and video footage searching for any clues that might shed light on Mr. Trudeau's true nature. In the following clips, notice how uncomfortable his wife feels, as if she wants nothing to do with him. Justin got his first, with his wife firmly holding his hand for support. However, when it was Sophie's turn, she waved his hand away. A disappointed awe can be heard in the clip, and then Justin shrugs his shoulders while she laughs it off. As our investigation continues, we find ourselves drawn to the world of social media, with boundaries between public and private life are increasingly blurred, Essence of old pictures and videos have been uncovered, some never before seen, exclusively here tonight. Here we uncover a wealth of information that sheds light on Mr. Trudeau's personal life. His weird dance moves in public. His awkward cheering at sporting events. His choice of fashion. These all certainly are not normal and suggest something more bizarre. Now our investigation draws to a close. We are left with a myriad of tantalizing clues, but no definitive answer. Indeed, this photograph appears to be the smoking gun we've been searching for. It seems at long last we have our answer. There it is, old where appearances can be deceiving, and the line between fact and fiction is often blurred. It is the road, so as we bid farewell to the political jungle of Ottawa, we leave behind a legacy of discovery and a newfound understanding there. What would you like your government's legacy on LGBT issues to be? Uh, to get it to a point when uh, we have an LGBT uh, prime minister and nobody notices. Uh